Hello my friends, welcome back to my Dawn of War Let's Play as we begin episode 3. <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah, we just entered the Neolithic Age and we are trying to build up some knowledge points in our tech tree so that we can get thatching first and foremost followed by other stuff. So let's get right into that. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. We built that our first field of barley last episode and we are working on clearing out stone from where I'd like to expand. So our workload's actually still pretty darn low, so I can maybe even get rid of some more stone. You know, it's like the theme of my <laughs> Very, very stone clearing uh, centered. But there will be a day where we're going to be like, thank God we have those stone reser reserves. <laughs> and I am anticipating a raider attack really at any second. Could happen. I think it's 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 uh, quite random. But it could happen at any time. All right. So how do we want to build up these uh, these points here? We have thirty-seven capacity for thirty-nine. Let's actually get our house in then. <clears throat> Yeah, back here, sure. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I probably am going to want to have another storage tent somewhere around here for people to keep their tools in eventually as well, but this is definitely going to be my main storage area, I think. Yeah, we actually need more. We're, we're storing a lot of wood there, aren't we? Are we storing rocks there as well? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. <clears throat> so we are... Yeah, we're full up on our rock piles. Low on food, huh? Oh, shoot. We are. Okay, okay, okay. I, oh, did I stop hunting for some reason? And maybe didn't put... What was I thinking? <laughs> Alright, good thing there's a trader there, so we can get through a little bit here. While wow, the buy faces are already only uh, valued at one. Things change as the errors progress, that's for sure. Um, right. Let's just round that with a little bit of wood. There we go. <clears throat> that should get us by for a minute. <laughs> and actually, oh, there's some there's some bears. Kill them all. We don't need bears. But yeah, let's get some more rock storage going. Preferably someplace where I don't. really want to build anything on. So yeah, like there, there, yeah, that, that works for me. And then we can drop the stone out of there, and out of there, and apparently we also need a little bit more storage for wood, so there you go. <clears throat> These are all very temporary. Uh, 
the workload is actually a little high now. Oh, which one? Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, we made sure work of that stone. That's awesome. And that will free up some workload as well. Yeah, we're back down to balanced. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That works for me. Uh, do I have a hunt? Let's see. Water, plants, flint, hunt, fish, stone, flint, sticks, tannin. Oh, yeah, I do have another hunt over here. Let's put two people on it. I would rather have our people not starve, if at all possible. <laughs> Hey, that's just me. That is just one man's opinion. Yeah, that flint is almost used up, but after that, we can do underground mining. Oh, speaking of, let's pause, oh, let's pause it. Um, yeah, we can get something going here. We gotta go for thatching, because then we can we can start upgrading our buildings. We can get animals. And actually speaking of animals. No, we have to actually point points into it. That's so there's no there's no animals we get by default. So there's no reason to build a stable quite yet. That's alright. What we can do is we can upgrade our storage. So let's do that. Oh, it's planting season as well. We're going to see the workload go pretty high. This will be our first little taste of, uh, of farming. We've truly become civilized once we are working the fields like that. You know what? These are going to be more permanent structures, so... Is that really where I want our storage? Yeah, whatever. It's fine for now. I can always recycle them later and uh, replace. Later on down the road. No big deal. No big deal. And how is our... Still mining going, still picking away at it. This one too. We're already starting to fill up on our rock piles here, a little bit. Go on food. Shoot. Um, that's up, okay. We might have to range out a little bit. For a hunt. Maybe in hindsight this was not the best location for a camp. <laughs> nah, I'd never admit that. This is perfect. I don't want to kill the horses. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Actually, might as well just go ahead and upgrade our uh, our food storage as well. I take that back. Can I build granaries? Yes. So just get rid of it altogether. So empty contents and recycle. Oh, I'm kind of excited now. I can get our first granaries going. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! 
<laughs> I forgot something important. Very, very important. We have to extract mud. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I caught that. I didn't catch that any later than I already did. <laughs> so I would have just been sitting there for quite a while just sort of wondering what's going on. Okay. Great, now we... Can we buy mud? No. <laughs> of course not. Let's get a little bit of grain though. Some, some pulses and... Uh, good enough. Um, I will sell you... Couple spears. Hello. Wild horse escape three. That's not good. Let's see. We hunt. Oh, let's hunt one of these rhinos. And young male. Let's hunt uh, one of these little auruk things, these cows. We are low on food. We really, really need to get some food. <laughs> okay, so now we need our granaries, which is... Okay, so there's only one opening. So basically just have it like... Uh, yeah, just have it like we had previous building, just two of them. And we'll actually set this one to a high priority. So we don't have any food spoilage. Are we collecting mud? A little bit. Oh shoot, we don't have any strut. I am really <laughs> messing up. Come on, kill that wolf. You can do it. You can do it. Good job. Yeah, we have to wait for the harvest so we can have straw. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Cancel that construction and use the straw for uh, for our granary instead. Or not. <laughs> Just use a straw for that other storage shed. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Raider attack. Where are they coming in from? Over there? Oh, I wasn't even prepared for that. They even have guys out here mining. Just running right by them. Oh, okay. Just ignore them. Suck it, Raiders. <laughs> Alright, back to work.
Wait. So I put this one to high priority, yet you build this one. I should set normal priority instead. Oh, we're gonna attack this rhino now. Or we already did? Yeah, we already did. Beautiful. That should be a little bit of meat. A little bit of meat. We are immediately not doing that well this episode because I am just... making not very intelligent decisions. <laughs> like, oh, let's build up the population immediately when we don't have any food. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see this one. Did he get away or are you guys you still gonna fight him? Sure, whatever. Actually to be honest, if, if he dies trying to fight that yeah, he died. It, it actually helps me. Less less <laughs> less mouth to feed. Oh shoot, totally forgot. I have... some stuff to research. Um... Right. Oh, okay, this is actually a interesting decision to make because if I want to do weaving, like, that's stupid because I don't have sheep yet, nor do I have flax. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, probably going for the flax might be smart. Sure. And actually, I can also then plant a little vegetable garden somewhere. And let that vegetable be lentils. So it's a good place for a vegetable garden. It's sort of away from the main fields, but... I, I think I'll... I'll, I'll have it maybe over here somewhere, but I need to clear out some of the trees. But I'm going to let my people harvest this first and not get in their way. Because <laughs> we need straw. So are we can lay out mud yet? No, we have a little bit. I hate to have to make my people range out to that other water source to be able to get additional mud, but it will definitely probably come to that. Come on guys, let's get to harvesting. Have I bitten off more than we should be chewing with this stone stuff? Probably. Okay. Also, I think we need some more sledges. Let's go ahead and build two, three, four, five. Five more sledges. So it might help if you actually pick up the food now, my, my people. We're at all the way over here. Don't care. Where? Oh, there's my there's my camp.
pick up the grain already. Jeez, people are starving. There we go. Alright, trader. You're worthless. Useless to me. Alright guys, pick up the stuff before it all goes bad. Please and thank you. I think that might actually help to get a couple of haystacks too. Producing, producing food. I don't think we're in, in an immediate danger anymore of starvation. So can I build a crafter or a workshop or whatever? No, not yet. Sorry, I have to take a drink of water. <laughs> I know, I usually, I always feel fine before I start recording these and suddenly I start losing my voice a little bit. And... Oh well. <laughs> you have really bad morale. should probably start thinking about getting these megaliths dealt with. We get some. We're gonna capture you and then kill your parents. How does that sound? Good, good. I feel like I've been hunting more uh, carnivores than prey animals. I kind of like that I'm having a bit of a challenge at this kind of odd location because otherwise the game's a little bit too easy. So having a little bit of hardship here and there is actually kind of a good thing, if you ask me. That, that hunt didn't go so well for you, did it? <laughs> so what happened to that one we were trying to... ...to tame? Did we actually... No, you just gave up because you almost died. Okay, try it again. I spotted a little bit of game over here. I back. So these are these are goats. Do I want to have goats? Uh, probably. Actually, I think I'll keep them intact. I will maybe kill a couple cows. A few cows. Male, male, female. I don't think it really matters, but. I try to keep their population sustained even though I'm not because I'm not sure if it matters or not, <laughs> actually. I don't think it matters, but if it does matter, then, you know. Uh -huh. 
we don't want to store food in there. Right, so let's actually get a totem out here. So people can pray as they're working the fields, maybe. Okay, I'm sure we'll survive that. Apparently not. Holy crap. <laughs> Those cows are fierce. Right, okay, so we can do flax now. Uh, there's so many things in this. This tree is so important. There's like everything here, it feels vital. Like, I really want underground, underground mining. I really want wells. I really want walls. I really want light clothes, I really want heavy clothes, and goats and sheep just in general too. And I really, really want weaving because that goes hand in hand with those. <laughs> but I also really want megaliths. Oof. I don't really care about stilting actually that much because that's for bridge making for this tree. Uh, okay, so what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, well, we were already doing this tree, so let's just finish it off, get some flax. And we also then will have to get a field going. A small field for so if I build. So, could do something like that. Does that give me enough room over here for all of my stuff? Because I can also build into here a little bit too with my manufacturing, so yeah. Sure. And then I could, I could do my weaver and my, uh, my clothes making, whatever, in this area, I guess. Oh, it's still planting season even. Okay, that works. So we should be able to get some clothing pretty quickly. That works for me. So I guess next up we should get the weaver My god. <laughs> all the boars. We just need, we need food. We need food really badly. <laughs> we are struggling. Is there anything else that's easy, easy pickings here? Uh, most, most everything is queued up to be hunted, so. Well, I've had more room if I hadn't had this here. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'll check it out. It's not like these are <laughs> resource heavy to be able to build. Uh, not build, but plant. No. No, okay. Okay, so I did not need to do that, but it looked kind of ugly right there anyway, so I think that was for the best. In fact, if I can build buildings right here, maybe I can get my haystacks right there. I cannot. Yeah, can I still put totem there? No. <laughs> it was just able to be there for no apparent reason. Okay. 
Pro Core. I forgot I was gonna have a, veg a veggie garden. Over here. Nice little lentil garden. Why can I not click on that tree? place for food and for resources now I think. I think I think whoa 354 stone. That is bonkers. <laughs> That's a lot of stone. <laughs> yeah even still I don't think it's gonna be enough stone for the super ambitious wall that I eventually am gonna have. Right, so let's recycle this one, but let's start upgrading our huts too. So I don't want my population to be much higher at the moment, so I might as well just get rid of one of these as I start upgrading. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Oh yeah, we have tons of mud, so might as well use it. Trader. Let's get some straw. Let's get some food. And uh, that's good. Um, just sell you some spears. Not that many spears. There we go. Perfect. Hurry up with that tree cutting because we're going to have to have all hands on deck for harvesting pretty soon. I don't want to get my workload too high. One of the problems is I have a lot of people out hunting, but they're not doing kind of a crappy job of it. Was it because I'm on the edge of the map? So like the I actually can't do anything over here? I think that might be the case. No? Hmm, oh, interesting. So it's some sort of game limitation we can't we can't click on trees. Huh, interesting. Okay. Okay. These are done, so they'll free up that workload from the building. It brings our population capacity up to about comparable to when we had the extra hut over there. As you can see, these are a lot much more modern looking <laughs> than the skin tent things. Nice proper huts. Plus they can cook their own food in there, they have little, little chimneys, I guess. Yeah, raw food can be cooked and eaten here, also provides heat. So definitely a big step above. Just those very simple little, little structures. Okay, 
Right, so I guess that's as clear as it's going to get. Okay. Let's make use of the, the space as best we can then. Yeah, we can go all the way into the corner here. Yeah, I can't do anything with those trees. Very, very, very interesting. Well, you know, this, this might be a really good area for fruit trees down the line. Yeah, because there's already trees stuck over here that I can't move. This would be a great place for an orchard. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. Well, in that case... Let's have our veggies right there for now. No, oh, just in time for planting season as well. Cool, cool. And we're good. We're gonna need to get another, another field of grain here running, probably by next season as well. So we're not getting a heck of a large amount of food out of that one field. I wasn't paying attention, and we can we can do weaving now. Excellent. So need a weaver. Now let's build the outfitter first, actually. That will be fine. And then our weaver. Doesn't need, doesn't, I mean, it's better actually to have it closer to the storage than the uh, field, but it is still pretty darn close to the storage, so it's fine. Actually, I feel like I could have it. Did I just. Delete. No. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get that as close as possible, actually. There we go. All the hands on deck there, building our clothing outfitter and weaver. Excellent. And with that, we can actually cease production of the leather outfit. This linen outfit is significantly better. And maybe not in winter, but during the spring and summer we'll definitely be <laughs> not looking like cavemen anymore. We'll be looking like more medieval peasant sort of look. Okay. Work area exhausted flint. So is that all of our flint work areas? I think it might be. I think it just might be. But there's another one. Yeah, primo location right here. Oh, let's not plant. Let us. Oh, there's actually a little pile of flint over there, too. Let's, let's get that as well. Perfect.
Yep, the first linen outfits are being created as we speak. Very, very nice. Just in time for planting season. I probably don't even need this big of a field for the flax. What is it? A three by one, two, three, four, five. A three by five. Yeah, that's that's more than that. you really. You only really need like a three by three, maybe a three by four to sustain even a pretty large population. Because outfits last quite a while. Okay, we. I'm I'm starting to get pretty concerned about our morale. So, as much as I want wool outfits and sheep and goats we might have to start focusing on the, on the religion a little bit more keep our workforce happy plus we have these megaliths just sitting there sort of in my way places where I would like to be putting down plants and stuff five grain, one fish I feel like we could Actually, maximizing our fishing a little bit more effectively. Let's get two. Um, two on each. And let us then also just keep the uh, fishing implements at five. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Are we on bone? Am I blind? I'm not seeing a bone at all in our inventory. Perhaps we're not hunting enough either. What's this? Some wolves. Let's capture all the young that we can. There's an old male. Kill the adults. That's not what I want to press. Uh, yeah, so let's get the megalithism. Let's get that going. So we can mine those out. Mine that out. Actually, let's. Where are these megaliths all? So one, two. Oh, they're so close. Three, four, five. Six and seven. That is absolutely fantastic. We have enough for men here and the stone circle. Beautiful. Uh, but where do I? This is a. <laughs> this is a big. Big, big thing, and I don't know where I want to put it actually. Let's get rid of you, and let's get a stone circle in. Well, let's wait until you actually get rid of that other thing. But let's get a men here in. Be outside this field. That'd be kind of cool. Or here, maybe. Maybe even someplace a little bit more prominent. But uh, I have to think about. It. So I'm having a stone circle somewhere around here. And yeah, probably somewhere. That's yeah, too close if it's right here. Place where people are working. But I don't necessarily have to have a stone circle here either. In fact, maybe I'll just start with one of these. Oh, 
Wait. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was so focused. <laughs> oh, I was so focused on, on trying to get the perfect placements for these. I didn't realize that we're getting invaded by raiders. <laughs> that is so sad. How many people did we lose? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That will be very funny for me to watch uh, on playback <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> oh, I feel smart. I feel very, very, very smart right now. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's get this men here in. Just, I don't know how exactly I want these buildings all placed in the future, so I don't know if I want to have a giant stone thing in the middle of, of everything. I could also put the stone circle somewhere more out of the way and put this in the town proper. Might look kind of cool, actually. Sort of up on the hill. Sure, let's put that right there. Let's get rid of that thing. Hopefully they'll prioritize digging out this one first is the closest. Yep, there we go. Okay, so all we have to do then is prepare for transport. Which takes a few logs and a few leather. And we have 96 logs and 10 leather, so no sweat. This is maybe the shortest distance I've ever seen <laughs> where these have to be transported. Usually I'm like transporting things from halfway across the map. So this is gonna be pretty funny. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good, thank you. You have to do so much like preparation work to get this to start rolling. I mean, all you really have to do is just just drag it like two feet. <laughs> oh no, they have to turn it too. That that's that's the real that's the real issue. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Cool. So we got one of those things now. Perfect. And it's now uh, harvest season. Oh, let's let's wait till we're done harvesting before I upgrade my huts anymore. I feel like we're in a much better spot for food right now. Much happier about that. How are you guys enjoying this? Some great, great praying going on. Covering your morale slightly faster, maybe. Oh, we finished the stone. Cool. 
All right, let's pack the people in there so we can finish up that as fast as we can. Uh, do we run out of space? Are we storing stone in there? Yes, we are. Okay, we need more stone piles then. As always, just as out of the way as possible. Okay, so harvesting is done, so let's upgrade this hut. Let's get this one upgraded too. As soon as we're done with, uh, with all this hut stuff, like we don't have to worry about dried skins quite as much. We focus much more on, on leather. This one's done too then. Don't have to worry about stone anymore. Trader, what do you have for me today? Not much. I mean, I could start getting wool. Well, I might as well, actually. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's smart. So you want 22 of something. So we'll see a few people wearing wool outfits now. You know, let's actually get the stone circle in after all. It does it's okay if it's sort of nearby this. I don't know why I was so worried about that. The stone circle is super cool. It's a very, very central location as well, so I think that would be good. Okay, but before that, we've got to repair some transports. So we're not going to have enough leather quite yet for all of this, but it'll be a work in progress. Prepare that for transport. Prepare. 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 And prepare. Excellent. That'll take a long, long time. And in the meantime, we're going to have to Get a bit more um, Oh, we're gonna have to get a bit more leather. So we're gonna have to hunt. We already killed it? Cool. What else can we kill? Uh, 
there's scarce game here. Okay. I hate to kill mouflons because I'm gonna need sheep ASAP. Starting to range out a little bit further than I'd like to have to make my hunting parties go, so. Where am I? How far is that walk? Uh, it's a good distance. Let's just sit tight for now. Once we can. Uh, once we can start um, getting animals in captivity. We don't have to worry about bone shortage and leather shortage, like because we will we'll be able to produce our own without having to resort to hunting. Okay, we actually need to go to domestication and start building stables. That makes sense. It does make sense. Uh, let's spring any animals come in. Pop in. Yep. There's a boar. It's an adult male ibex. And. Oh, there's. Even more megaliths are probably actually closer than the ones I'm already using. That's nuts. God, look at the... It's just a field of megaliths over here. My god. Oh, where are these? Where are these? Where are these? Yes. Let's get all of those. And we can actually... Oh, wrong button. We can get... Um... Yeah. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. No. Where do I want to keep my stables? I can have one there. I have one there. I'll just start with that for now. I'll give us room for 20 animals. And just start with a goat population. As soon as we get those built and the workload is evened out a little bit, I will uh, I'll have my guys range out and grab some baby goats. Max population is now 43. Let's upgrade that one. We're okay for mud still. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm not seeing my people using their... Their sledge is too much. So let's... No, I take that back. I need the leather. I take that back. Cancel. I need the leather for... Uh, for the mega lifts, unfortunately. go. One stable started. Let's just see if there's any goats around. 
Yes. Do not hunt and kill those because we need them. Oh my god. You can kill that one though. You need really at least a couple females and a couple males to get your population of uh, any assorted animal started and stable. So I would like to pick up as many as I possibly can. And it doesn't really matter how far out you have to range because they will come back to your camp. There's a mouflon, sheep. Some wolves. Um, doo -doo -doo. What are these? Yep, some Ibex. Go on, get those. Perfect. Um, I think I'll call that good for right now. We don't have we don't have an enormous amount of straw to be feeding our animals. So I think I'm gonna have to make my my next field. After we harvest this, I'm going to I think take Those four and sort of have my field come out here for our field of barley. Oh, we're over an hour. I should probably call it quits. I think I'll give it a couple more minutes. There's a couple things I want to get done. So animal limits set for infinite, but yeah, let's have it be for 20 for now. I'm ultimately not going to have goats, or at least not very many goats. Ultimately I'm going to have um, sheep. Sheep and donkeys. That's that's down the line, but yeah, sheep and donkeys for sure. Want to get those? Okay, and you're actually you want to trade some goats? Okay, let's trade some goats. I'll take your grain too, and your straw. Um, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, maybe I should start making flint spears and flint knives because I really don't have... I don't have very much bone. Yeah. No more bone knives, no more bone sickles, no more bone spears. We're going all flint, because we have plenty of flint in the area. It's not a resource that I'm too particularly concerned about. So are we actually following through with these with the goat hunting, or what's going on with that? I, think I actually want to sit here and, and watch and make sure that they're getting tamed. Did 
Did the other one just get born? No. Well, we have lots of people in our village, so... Anytime you want to come out and tame them, feel free. Especially before they... You know, they're right next to our village. How hard is it to have people come out and tame these things? The AI is not doing so good this... Oh, now they just give up. Uh, tame them! It's making me very frustrated. No, don't hunt it. Tame it. Tame it. Okay. You know, maybe the hunt area is messing up the taming process or something. I, I have no idea. I'm not ending, I'm not ending this episode till these damn things get tamed. Come on. Come on. Can I just have you just do it? No. You just said to attack. Did we just yeah, did we just no that's an adult one that we just killed, okay. Let's cancel. Capture. Oh, you're being tamed finally. Okay. There's one being tamed. How about this one? You gonna tame this one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's all the hunting I think that was throwing off the, uh, the AI. Unfortunately. Remove those and let's plant their barley. No, let's let's move that too. Is that tree in the way? Yes, it is. Okay. Get rid of this tree so I can plant some more barley. Thank you. Gosh, that's not... A, no, that's the green. Okay. Straw's not that bad, actually. How many do we have? Four, seven. Mm. Please give them water. <laughs> it's extremely important. Okay, good.
Uh, let's since we got rid of that field, let's plant some more peas over there too. We already have three. Oh, there's our fourth. So two more, and then we will have our, our stone circle up. And actually. Um, yeah, gosh, I don't know. Um, sheep are very important, actually, but so are wells. So is fortification. So is underground mining. That's also, that's also very important because we're almost out of flint. Let's go underground mining. Seems like an odd choice, probably, but. But it will help now that we're uh, making more. Um, let's see, where's the closest flints? That one, and. Is this one? No. Probably this one. Go ahead, go ahead with that. So it should be enough flint for a while. Yeah, plant our peas and our lentils. All right, raider attack. Where? Is that then? Yeah. Ah, oh, they're killing my... Why are we, f why are we fighting al already? That's not smart. They're coming in from a really odd location every time they're coming in from over here. Those are the raiders taken care of. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely clocking a pretty uh, pretty long episode here. So <laughs> I think we're going to call it quits here. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be coming at you with episode four probably tomorrow. You know, with this, this crazy virus going on. Uh, <laughs> daily uploads are sound like a good idea. Sorry, keeping me occupied. But, uh, yep. Stay safe out there. And, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.